Hello and welcome back to Northgard. My name is Usser. Hope everybody had some nice holidays. I, I hope I'll be back into a normal recording. Um, but, hi. Um, now that the holidays are going on, but there's still some things we have to do before the kids go back to school. So, I'll try and do the best I can. Acquired enough lore to develop a new skill. Please choose wisely for it will have consequences for our expansion and our survival. It's crucial that we study any rune stone or circle stones we encounter. will allow our lore masters to gather lore and develop our knowledge. How do I... Wait, how do I do that? Okay. I'm really not sure. Where's the skill at? Uh, organize a feast, build, improve tools. I might have to build something for that. Training camp, axe thrower camp. Oh, shield bearer camp. Defense tower, cool. Uh, marketplace, trading post, fisherman's hut fields. There's sludge. I don't know how to do the skills. Where... Where... I'm sure it's... Ah! Hello. Sharp axes. Woodcutters produce more wood. Increase your military unit's attack. Ooh. And plus two crowns production enables trade routes with trading posts. And great trade routes with the lighthouse. Let's start by making these guys a little bit better. Oh, shit. It's already winter. All right. Need to colonize eight territories, reach 800 fame. I need to build a, like a silo here. So you build a silo for the food production. All right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my food production good and start building some military units. Where did the Draugr go? He's somewhere over here, but I got Draugr to take care of. I've got to somehow get over here and kill off the wolves. Which I may just have to take a transport ship that way? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Advanced mine, carved stone altar of king's lighthouse. Cool. I like this. I like the whole... Villagers, you move them to an area and then they take care of things in that area type thing. It makes it feel like you're actually expanding and you're actually limited by territory. And all that. Can I colonize this? Yes. It's mostly forest, but... Probably shouldn't have done that in the winter, but I'm, I'm at plus three, so I'm alright. Probably put a woodcutter there because that's just nothing but woods. Your scout died while exploring a new area. Oh shit. Um, so I need people. Where did. Where, did you just go gather a bunch of food? Hey, come here. You're gonna become a. You. You're gonna come over here and do boats. And we're going to build... Uh, I'm not even sure how. Sailors, loot, crowns, lore, game fame. That allow your house to explore trade routes. I, well, okay. I thought... Well, I guess I didn't know what to expect. Nearby coasts. Okay. They'll find nearby coast. I need to do that trade thing. I need more lore to do the trading. How much does that cost? Oh, I gotta have like a hundred. All right. So I'm learning. Um, that's the scout camp, right? I need another scout. All right, now we got woodcutters. More wood coming in. Ooh, fertile land. I need to come up there because there's sheepies and wolves. Do I even have, like, a barracks? 
I do. <laughs> I love how it says, May, you should prepare for winter. It's early spring. It's not even summer yet. Start hoarding food. Go to the grocery stores, buy milk, buy bread. <laughs> Allies under attack. Oh, for God's sakes. I'm trying to create people to take care of that. All right. Uh, villager, you come here. Oh, there's the Draugr. Oh, he's tough. Not tough enough, though. Okay, so what I need here is to colonize... I'm at negative one. Uh, that's... That's bad. How am I at negative one? Alright, well, you guys stray, stay right there. Uh, I built my houses, so I got another person popping out, right? Good. Okay. I suppose you can't build anymore in this area. Like I couldn't build. No, I have to. I have to move out and colonize. So I need to focus on colonizing this one. Uh, but first, I have to get rid of the wolves. I guess since the Draugr's dead, we'll go take care of the wolves. Because I need the food, and there's water, so I can probably fish. And there's. Even if I don't fish this fertile land, get the farm going. Colonize. We've got sheep. What does sheep allow me to do? Like, can I have a... Like a farm of some kind? Like a sheep farm? We need to build fields. Yes. Um, I don't know. So I'll need a house here. And I'll need a silo. And I'll need some pe Oh shit, only two. Wait a minute, can I... Cancel construction. I, I need a silo. I just do. Okay, so I need... Two people. You. To start on the silo. Start building! I'll need another villager. I need food. Badly. Yes, gather. Gather for me, my minion. Gather. I don't know, can you get wool out of the sheep and make some armor or something? I, I don't exactly know how everything works here. Okay. Boink. And you. Boink. There we go. Wait, you didn't go. There we go. Okay. It's November, you should prepare for winter. I'm going to have to, because the farms don't do much. Yeah, they don't do much during the winter time. Oh boy, we're just going to have to ride this one out and wait till summer. Hopefully they're... Yes, yeah, still building villagers. You start foraging something. I feel like you guys should be doing something. Some members don't have anything to do right now. Yeah, raid. Uh, sailors will discover lore or fame. Um, yeah, go get some lore. I guess I gotta send them out. Okay. Watch out for the rocks. Have fun sailing into the fog of war. Okay, I don't know what the dock is really for. Circle of Stone. Train your villagers to become lore masters. They'll produce 10% more lore. Spoiler alert, Odin dies. <laughs> oh, okay. Did not expect to see that. That's funny. So, oh! I sent them out on a raid, or I got scouts. But it does Can I cross that water? No, I, what I've got to do is go way around to get to those wolves. Oh my gosh. That's going to take a while. 
Like, I'm supposed to be saving these people, but I have to go way all over hell and back to get there. Does it just say that the whole time? April, prepare for winter. Winter just ended. I mean, come on. Okay, this can have three houses. So, one, we have to do the lower master training. But we're going to need a house for sure. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have a um, healer's place out here, but I should probably do a shield bearer's camp. What? Grand can't grow because it's unhappy. Why is it unhappy? You have too many wounded. I can fix that right now. You, sir. We need a healer's site. Oh, Everybody's wounded. Okay. I didn't know that would make you guys unhappy. Um, you, my good man. Come out here. Okay, so I need... I need people. But in order to do that, you're going to have to become a healer. Let's go ahead and start there. Let's kind of be a... Wow, that's a lot of skilled stuff. Let's kind of make it as even as possible, because everything's going to help. Okay, I'm looking at the mini-map. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's what the Fertile Land looks like on the mini-map. Okay. We got that. Should, I should really look around at this. There's iron. What is that? Draugr tombs. Ugh. I need stone though. That's for sure. You can build a mine here to extract some stone. As a matter of fact, I can't because I built a damn food silo. Oh, for God's sakes. Is there any other stone on the map? I don't think there is. Well... <laughs> I'm just big old doofy doof. That's all right. I have zero happiness, so I think yes, I can start. But good, I can get some healers. I can build. Um, well, I can't build shit up here now, can I? I need another axe throw axe thrower. That's what I need, so I can get these guys out there doing stuff. I wonder if once I collapse that, they'll let me mine stone from it. Cause that's that's like a lot of stone right there at that wolf den. I mean, come on. Did I pop out a person? No. What did I hear? Oh, I got enough lore to do something. Mining efficiency. Oh, there we go. But it's just one area, isn't it? Um, let's do fur coats. I want them to be strong no matter what. What's that? You're having proud. Increase your military unit's attack by 3% for every positive happiness you have. Oh. I don't know what their problem is right now. Expected happiness, current happiness. What do I need to do to improve their... I heard something. Yeah, that's what I thought. You. Come up here. Be a healer. No, wait. Come be an axe thrower. Yeah, axe throwing. We're gonna go kill some stuff. Alrighty. Come on up here. All right, people, let's go up here and kill some wolves. Charge! Oh, get wrecked, wolves! Kind of fucked that up, didn't you? What do I need? 200. Oof. Yeah, they're unhappy, I know. They're unhappy because they're injured, but we wrecked those people. Come down here, talk to my healer. Uh, 
I suppose you stopped, didn't you? Arrgh! Of course it did. Someone got injured. This might go on a little bit longer than I intended. I need happiness. Happiness is ruining things. Oh my god, it is dropping like a fucking rock. I need the time to go a little bit quicker here. Are you guys? You guys are fine, right? Okay, so I just need to heal you and we should be okay. Is there a way to increase happiness? Yeah, that's what I need to do. Colonization. <laughs> happiness because of food silos. Jeez. Increases food production by plus two for each food silo. Need that. Oh my god, we're gonna starve. Uh, what happens if we start starving? I've, I've never starved before. Oh, come on, it's February. Yeah, everybody's unhappy because we're gonna start starving soon. <laughs> Your clan is starving, you need to produce more and store more food. I know! Uh, that really affected their happiness, too. Who'd have thought that starvation would piss people off? Huh. Okay. Come on, just turn to March. We made it. A negative one? Well, I... I mean... They, they're they're literally producing food. What do I? All right, you become a villager. You as well. We need food. There, Jesus. That took a bit too long before we started. I know you're unhappy, but we've got food now, so shut up. There we go. Um, let's build a. marketplace and then maybe we can avoid starving to death in winter again god I just flew through the food I thought I had plenty with like a hundred holy shit I know it's still unhappy I don't know why they're unhappy like they expect happiness buy food yes I could buy stone which would allow me to upgrade this I need 10 I've got plenty of crowns let's buy I can't buy stone why not do I have to upgrade it to get access to I don't know huh. I made such a huge mistake by not getting stone and now I don't know what to do to make them happy Oh, they constantly raid. I understand. Oh. New title, Thane. Oh, plus 10 stone. You've gained a new ability. Uh, our influence over the region is strong and our people's hearts are filled with pride. What's my new ability? Ah, I can organize a feast. Gives plus two and 20 bonus to all production and happiness for one month, as well as plus 20 fame. Oh, I got enough. We're, we're going to go after that wolf den. I need this lamb because that will give me fish. And the fish will mean I won't starve again. Okay. Colonize for 140. Yes, I'm, I've got plenty. Bring these people back so they aren't all upset because there's in your people. <laughs> what a thing to whine about. Now, I can't go across this. I can't possibly go across this water without a boat, which 
being Vikings, you would think we would have lots of those on hand and I could just, hey, yeah, I've got a fishing boat, I'll just go right across. Nope! Allows you to upgrade other buildings, increases max population by 2 and population growth by 20%. Oh, hell yeah! Gonna try and build up as much as I possibly can <laughs> for that. Because I just don't feel like, you know, this is the first time I've watched them. They're just standing on the shoreline, just spear, spear. And as much wintertime stuff as possible. The next area, more fish. No. This next area, only two. We're going to build a shield bearer's place. And I'm not sure what else. But I definitely need more troops, or at least it would help. Scalds increase your clan's happiness. I needed scalds. Okay. Let's get on this first. Okay. I can buy stone. I can buy iron now. Excellent. Uh, increases food production by two for each silo. There we go. Food's no longer an issue. Yeah. So I need to colonize eight territories still. And I need to send military units to kill all the wolves. All the wolves must die. I should probably work on that. Moving forward. I have... 170. And I've got a positive food consumption. I definitely need scalds to improve my happiness. Because right now I'm, I'm hovering on unhappiness. Which is a bad... I don't want that again. Man, look at all those Draugr. Our territory has reached a substantial size. The populace will be able to thrive here after we leave for the next region. Cool. That was part of the goals, huh? Um, oh, the healer's doing it. Even though they're in a different territory. Yeah, get close. Okay, heal him from range. Bring Lord the Beast upon us. We need assistance. Please send reinforcements at your earliest opportunity. <laughs> I'm trying. I really am. Oh, God. We're just going to have to... You guys are just going to have to go. Uh, can I not? How do I get there? No. No, 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 no. Hold on a sec. I can go there. I can't just run it. Oh my god, I have to colonize my way through it. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. And my happiness is in the negative. Oh, that's a big problem. I need to build the Hall of Scalds first. And you need to become a Scald because we're not happy. I can't grow. I can't make these guys until we grow. Mm. So where I should have went first, it seems like, is I should have came up here and upgraded my lore as soon as possible got the fishing and the hunting going but I should have got the lore before I started expanding this way it seems could be wrong on that one but that's just the way it seems to me oh could you hurry up oh good happiness has finally reached zero so my clan can grow now haha plus two okay First and foremost, let's make sure they stay happy again. In fact, let's immediately get on the happiness. Okay, kill the Draugr. And colonize.
Why well, can't? Because it is not exploitable. Oh, so that's just a danger area. I don't really care because I'm just trying to get over and help these people. What the f That is a huge ass nasty bear. Well, I lost one. But seriously, I have got to save these people. Are they colonizing it? Because that would be great. <gasps> they are. Okay, good. There's part of a problem solved. This will probably kill off my people, but... You guys might be able to help yourselves now. Oof. I, I hope with the happiness that they're pumping out people in a hurry. Um, I don't know what a shield bearer does. Let's go find out. Maybe I'll change my tactics and I'll uh, I'll try and get those wolves finished off, and my warriors just sitting up there to protect them, and let the villagers be pumped out and do something else like. Merchants. Oh! Oh, you've got to maintain a presence because if the wolves come back. Oh! That sucks. That sucks. If you don't maintain a presence, the wolves come back and these people lose their land. Oh my god, get him. Okay, up here. So this is. Should be safe now, right? Okay, you guys are gonna colonize, right? Boy, that's a lot of them. Let's have you guys go right here for now. Maybe if I'm out of the way, though. No, they're not doing anything. <gasps> Am I healing? Oh, that would be good. If they get healed, I won't care too much. Why am I healing? I don't see a healer there. I mean, it's okay. I'm not going to complain too loud or too long about the fact that I'm healing and we'll soon be able to take that over. Now, I wonder for, like, full completion of this map, I'm, I'm assuming story mode, like, as soon as you get all your goals, that's it. But if you wanted to... Like, just leave those warriors there. Could you fill in all these other areas? Like, could you fill in this area here, this area? Just just to conquer the map and say you've done it all? Or, I know, I'm, I'm so nervous about, like, making sure that these guys survive that I'm, I'm not going to really care to. I didn't get 100% completion. Who cares? As soon as my axe thrower gets up here, I'm going to save my friends and they will join our clan. Oh shit. Hey. Boink. Uh, gain plus three happiness if you have brand and plus one happiness per upgraded military camp. Improve brand's attack and defense. Gives you military's attack against mystical creatures. Um. Hmm. It'd be just my luck that my axe thrower won't make it here alive because things have respawned or something. I don't know. There she is. She's fine. To battle! Oh boy. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. There you go. Quickly. Quickly, we lost a guy. But we're winning the war! Victory! Okay, is he... Oh shit! Get, get him, Scalds! Where the fuck did you come from? I 
Okay, so there we go. I was about to say, I, I took out the wolves. Why am I not winning? Delighted to report that Halvard's camp is now safe from any beastly threat, just not droggers. Please make sure his people receive the food they need and tend to their wounded. Half of the Hydrun clan I'd like to express our most heartfelt gratitude. We would have been doomed without you. I know. Now until the end of the time, you can count on the help and loyalty of the Goat Clan. I hereby solemnly pledge my allegiance to you. Meh. Continue. Yep, I was right. Boom. Moving on. Actually, we're not moving on. We're going to leave it right there. Um... I like this a lot. This is very cool. I don't know if I'll keep playing it just because I, I kind of want it just to show off the game and not do a full let's play and spoil the story. I'll let you guys dive in and do the storyline. Um, it really gives you a sense of like expansionary, the way they, they have it with the villagers almost being assigned to each area. That's actually really cool. It kind of makes you put people in each spot so they can help out repairing or building or all that but uh, yeah i really like that it's a different twist rather than just like pumping out 15 villagers and then they build a bunch of stuff and yeah it's i, I think that's a really cool feature uh anyway that's all for this one thank you guys so much for joining me i'll catch you all in the next one bye